Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to help you figure out how to make the common events you would need to use with Yanfly's Button Common Events plugin. So this is a special request tutorial for Ravani Lestari, and she says, any chance you could do a tutorial on the Common Events Buttons plugin? What other menus can you bring up? I'd like to be able to bring up the Ability Learn menu from Moogle X's Equipment Learn plugin. Well, Ravani, this is really easy to do. So, in a past video, I showed you how to optimize equipment with just a button press so that all of your equipment has been optimized. So we're going to skip past that one. But how would you, uh, would you like to do uh, one button to open up your item menu? We could do that. We could do one button to open up your skill menu, Ravani, to straight to your uh, Moogle X's Equip Learn system. We could do one button to open up our Equip menu. We could do one button to open up our status menu. We could do one button to open up the save menu and the load menu. We could do a button to load uh, a zoom common event. That'll let us zoom in and zoom out. We could do a button to roll a random one out of a hundred uh, dice, so we're going to roll a d20 dice whenever we want to get a random number between 1 and 100. I don't know why you need that, but there's several reasons why you would. Um, we could do a button to uh, fix our direction. So if we were to walk around, we could press one button and now we're moonwalking. We could do a button press to have us jump in any direction we want. One thing about the jump is it will jump on top of solid objects, so if we wanted to get on this table that we normally couldn't be able to, we could do that. So you would have to design your maps around this particular part of it because of this. Hello. <laughs> Where's she going? <laughs> we could also... Uh, combine the direction fixed with the jumping so we can go like this there's several applications that you could use for the buttons common event but uh, let me get into it and show you how to make them so to get this installed first I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can get the plugin you need for this you're going to put it um, right here somewhere uh, button common events from Yanfly. You're going to put it right under your base troop events above the credits and these other ones. You can see where it's at in the list of things. Alternatively, you can go to Yanfly.mo and check out where it's at on his plugin list and you would uh, put it in that order uh, in your plugin manager. So let's look at those common events once we've got the plugin installed. Uh, how would you do this to open up the item menu and stuff? I showed you this in the last video, so we're going to skip past that. To do the item hotkey, it's really simple. You're going to go uh, to insert a new. You, have, you get a new common event. Right click insert new. Go to tab 3. At the bottom under advanced, you're going to go to script. And in this script call, you're going to type in one line. Capital S on scene. Capital M on manager. Dot push. Open parentheses. Capital S on scene. Underscore. Capital I on item. In the parentheses and include an end line. That's all you need. Once you... Uh, Bind this number to your plugin, it'll open up the, the item scene. So what we're going to do is go through all the common events and then I'll show you how to link them into your plugin. So for the skills, you do the same thing. You could basically copy paste that, edit it, and then change the item to skill. Really simple. Same thing for equip. Change that last word to equip. On the status, you do the same thing. Change the last word to scene underscore status. The save, similar, load, same thing, really easy. To do a jump, you're basically going to do insert a new movement route, which will be tab 3, I believe, no, tab 2, yeah, set movement route, set to the player, say skip if cannot move, and then you're going to do jump, and how it works is X will go from left to right, so if you subtract X, it's going to go to the left, if you add to X, it's going to go to the right. If you subtract Y, it's going to go up. If you add Y, it's going to go down. So you can even put in like longer jumps if you want to. Keep in mind that doing a jump like this through a common event 
will jump through solid objects. So design your map in a way that it's uh, it's useful to do that. To do a direction fixer, it's very simpler. Uh, it's very simple. Lur, lur, lur. We're going to add a conditional statement to check if we already have direction fix on. So we're going to create a new switch. So first thing we're going to do is, is create a new uh, conditional branch. And we're going to select a new switch. <clears throat> select on the three dots right here. Find a free slot and call it direction fix. Then we're going to say direction fix is off. And then we're going to select create an else branch. So if direction fix is off, we're going to insert a movement route in, inside of here. We're going to click on the button that says direction fix on. And then we're going to turn on that switch. So we would do it right here, switch on. And then we would select direction fix. Skip if cannot, cannot move. Wait for completion. On the L handler, we're going to do the opposite effect. Insert a movement route. Direction fix is off. And turn the switch off. Skip if cannot move. Wait if... Uh, wait for completion. <clears throat> now that we've got all of our hotkeys, uh, our common event hotkeys set up, a good idea would to, is to create a text file and write down the name of the, the number. So for our optimized equipment, we've got button number or common event number 15. And then we're going to write down the button we want it to be. And then for the, the next thing, item is on 16 the button we want to use and just make a list of all of your common events that'll save you some time that way you're not going back and forth once you've got that set up you're gonna to go to your plugin manager scroll down to your button common events double click on it and now inside the parameters of this uh, plugin you can select what key you want to press and then what common event you want it to call one more thing I didn't show you is the ability to change the song using a song randomizer So I'm going to pause this real quick. If we press the squiggly button, it's going to uh, change the song. So the player has the ability to change the song in the game with just one button press. Pretty cool feature. <clears throat> so once you've got all your, your common events mapped out to a text file, or you can just go back and forth, make these one at a time, either way you want to do it. You can just double click on the parameters, type in the number of that common event that you wanted to call for that key. And that's basically all there is to it. So for the auto optimize, I know that's common event 15 and I want it to be on the equal key. So I double click here, put in the common event number, hit OK. For the T, I know this is my status menu. So I know status is uh, my number 19 common event. U would be my equipped at number 18 common event. I is my number 16 common event. And so forth and so on until you've got all the special keys mapped out. And then you have uh, a lot more control over... Um, your whole uh, scene manager so you can open up the menus just from one button press there's so many features that this plugin can do I cannot even begin to scratch the surface on what this plugin can do but thank you guys so much for watching thank you for the special request Ravani um, keep working on that game I'm excited to see what you do with it um, if anybody else has any special requests please put them in the comments below and I will get to them as soon as I can you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. We will see you guys in the next tutorial.